Are you looking for a very memorable piece of magic that will gross out your audience? How about a super practical close-up effect that can be performed in lots of situations? Stitch by Titanus and Murphy's Magic allows you to sever your finger in half and pull half of it off. And trust me, this is not the thumb trick that your grandpa liked to do. Although this is a great close-up effect, there are still some drawbacks. So stick around, because today we're talking about Stitch by Titanus and Murphy's Magic. This is a surgical tube. They can check it out to their heart's content, make sure it's completely ordinary. And I'll take my finger, place it right in there. And now I have two sharp metal blades and they can check those out. And I'm going to place this one here and sever right through my finger. That hurts a little. The next one. Ah, goes through the bone. And if it's really through, you should be able to see the space in between the two parts of the finger. You could even take that piece off, leaving me with half a finger here, half a finger here. And then I can drop that on, take the blades out, take my finger out, and they can examine absolutely everything. I hope you enjoyed that performance. Before we get to the review, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future reviews. Now let's talk about Stitch. What do you get when you buy Stitch? When you purchase Stitch, you get this nice Murphy's packaging and inside the package, you get quite a few components. You get the special gimmick that's supposed to look realistic. It's totally realistic and it does. It looks pretty cool. You also get the two ungimmicked blades, the gimmicked pieces of the cylinder and the ungimmicked pieces of the cylinder that you're going to give out for examination. You get multiple pieces, including a big piece and a smaller piece, uh, since some people have smaller fingers than others. Then of course you get your tutorial. This trick is super memorable as well. Your audience will remember that you did this effect. They might not remember a ambitious card routine or a coin vanish, but they'll remember this. Now, what is the quality of the gimmick? The gimmick's very good quality. The tube is plastic, but it's a thick plastic. And the secret gimmick is also great quality. The tube was a little bit big for my fingers because I have skinny fingers. Because of that, it can be a little bit harder to do certain visual displays with this. Maybe Murphy's could have uh, included an extra piece to lock the finger in the tube at the bottom. The blades, I can tell Murphy's changed this design of the blades from their last similar effect, Demi Deck. The blades are more stuck to the base with this, and if you take care of of this, everything should last a lifetime. I noticed the blades though, they were a little bit flexible, a little bit too flexible because I was performing this once and someone thought the blade was bendy. So they tried bending it and it kind of did bend. So I was like, wait, 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 no, don't, don't bend it. But yeah, uh, there is no chance of accidentally harming your finger with this, by the way. And you don't even need special finger contortion skills. If you can move your fingers normally and bend them and wiggle them and st stuff like that one at a time, you can do this. If you have really bad arthritis or something and can't move or bend your fingers at all individually, then this definitely will be a bit more trouble for you initially. This kind of reminds me of Demi Deck by Angelo Carbone, which is a similar contraption to this, uh, that also has blades, but it's with the deck of cards. You saw the deck in half and then it restores. I did a review on Demi Deck this year, I think, no, last year, 2023. So go watch that review after this one. I feel like some spectators may have some suspicions about the case, even though it is examinable. Because if you were really cutting your finger in half, why would you need the case? Uh, I like to use the presentation that it's a surgical case or a finger casket or something like that. But I know certain people may be saying, oh, if you could really saw your finger in half, do it without the case. Now, how is the tutorial? The tutorial is great. Javier Fuenmayer is in the Murphy's Magic studio and he is well lit. He's well mic'd 
and he will teach you everything you need to know. It's an hour and 20 minutes long around there. It goes through what you need to know, but it's not overkill. It's concise enough. Javier teaches everything in the Murphy studio, going through what you receive, the main routine, a live performance, and a deeper dive into the explanation, an over-the-shoulders view, a version without a certain slight, a different handling where you don't use a table or have it inspected. And he then teaches a routine uh, called fingerling. In the second part of the tutorial, Javier goes through a palm up variation, which is also really fun, but it's slightly more angly. But in general, the tutorial was pretty good. It covers what you need to know and it wasn't too long or too short. So this is a great trick. It's a really good trick, but there are some issues that I wanted to talk about. I personally wish that they included maybe four gimmicks for people with different complexions, skin complexions. I know they teach you how to change the color of the gimmick and the methods they teach work. They work well. Uh, I find the methods that where you change the color of the gimmick from the inside to work better than where you change the color of the gimmick from the outside. The, col the ones where you change it from the outside still work, but I feel like they look a little less realistic. I think some people may have an issue with having to do DIY and change the gimmick. Uh, and if you really don't want to modify the gimmick, if you hate DIY, but still like the premise of this effect, then I would recommend buying Demi Deck by Angelo Carbone, which I reviewed on the channel. It's also a really great effect. Are there any clothing restrictions? Nope, not at all. You can do this uh, with any clothes. You can wear a short sleeve shirt, a long sleeve shirt, and there's no blackguard or anything like that. If that's what you're suspecting, no, you can wear any clothes. Is this a social media or a real life effect? This trick could work well on both social media and real life, but I would love to perform this more in real life. It gets a very strange reaction. It, it causes people to be shocked. It, it's less of a, it's less of a, that, oh, that's a great trick reaction. It's, it's more of a, a shocked reaction. This would be great for Halloween, by the way, which is coming up. Uh, We'll talk a little bit more about the, the social media versus real life effect. Uh, if you're doing the palm up version, I would rather perform that on social media than real life because it is a little bit more angly than the other variation. Also, if you're performing this on social media, you can do a lot more crazy handlings and crazy displays that are a bit more angly and you wouldn't necessarily perform in... Um, in a real world performing for five or six people. Uh, you would only do those certain handlings on maybe one person or two people. Whereas if you were to do the main handling uh, of Stitch, you could do that on a group of people, five or six, probably, maybe even more. Uh, if you change up the handling uh, and instead of having your hand up like this, have your hand to the side like this. By doing that, you are improving your angles significantly because we'll talk more about angles shortly, but that's, I just wanted to let you know, if you put your hand like this, you can improve your angles from having your hand like this and doing the effect. Again, we'll talk a bit more about that shortly. Now, because this effect is so impossible, the spectators may try to guess how it works. And if they do try to guess, there is only one explanation. So they may sometimes guess the method, but even if they do guess the right method, them being able to examine everything at the end cancels out the method, which is really fun. That's what I really like about Stitch. What are the angles like with this? The angles are quite a bit better than you think. Uh, I initially, when I saw the trailer, was expecting this to be uh, only performable one-on-one -on -one or something like that, but the angles are much better. I would say they're about 120 degrees for the main routine. But if you do other handlings like the table one, that has really good angles. Or if instead you have your hand pointing to the side, which I mentioned, instead of having it point up, if you have it pointing to the side, you'll have even better angles 
than this one. The angles should not be an issue here. Uh, and even if there are a lot of people in front of you, taking a step or two backwards can help with the angles. You could say, I'm going to take a step back because I'm dealing with sharp objects. Uh, and that improves the angles. Uh, but I wouldn't worry about the angles if I were you. They're a lot better than you think. Are there live performances in the tutorial? Yes, there are live performances in the tutorial. Is this examinable? The blades, your finger, and the finger cover are all examinable at the beginning and the end of the routine. However, they're not examinable at the middle of the routine at all. You can't give your spectator the cover with the top half of your finger in it. For some of the other handlings, you don't hand this out for examination though. Now let's talk about the difficulty and practicality of stitch. This is not hard to do unless you have some mobility issues with your fingers. You don't need to be able to do crazy contortions or anything like that. You just have to be able to move one finger at a time. This is also really practical for walk around and close up magic in general. Is there any DIY? If your skin matches the gimmick, no DIY is required. If it looks completely different from the gimmick, there is some DIY. You'll want to experiment with some of the options taught in the tutorial. However, even if the gimmick doesn't perfectly match you, that's okay. It's unlikely people will notice that. Also, I would recommend taking a gray Sharpie or a silver Sharpie or something and making a small mark on the proper positions of where the parts of the tube go. So they're always in the right position and orientation. Because I know if there's no markings or something, it is a bit easy to lose track of where, which way the tubes are supposed to go and the order and uh, stuff like that. Pocket space. All you have to carry in your pocket is the tube with the extra secret thing and the two blades. What is the reset like? This trick resets instantly so you can perform it, uh, go table to table and repeat it over and over again. Now. What is the price of Stitch by Titanus and Murphy's Magic? This is the good part. Stitch is only 45 US dollars. And when I initially saw the trailer, I expected it to be around the price of Liquify and stuff like that. I expected it to go for much more. This is fairly priced. What are the pros and cons of Stitch? Stitch is not difficult to do at all. It's very, very fooling. Also, it fooled me hard when I first saw it. This is also a very memorable effect. The gimmicks are great and this looks so convincing. It's also examinable at the start and end of the routine and no significant finger contortion skills are required. This is also very well priced and it has a lot better angles than I expected. It's also very durable. Uh, also, not too much pocket space is required, and this resets instantly. Uh, the cons are, I guess, that I, I wish they included some more skin tone gimmicks. This doesn't match all skin tones. Uh, and if they included a few more gimmicks with different skin tones, you may have still needed to adjust it depending on where you are on the spectrum of skin tones, but at least it would look more like, it would be closer to how everyone would look. So uh, there's something in there for everyone. Uh, also, they can't hold the finger while it's cut in half, which isn't that big of a con because I wouldn't want to give someone my finger when it's cut in half. And it's it's really a stick of fire that it's off your your hand because it's only you only pluck it off for maybe one or two or three seconds and then you put it back on so i they probably won't even have the chance to ask to look at the the finger hold on to it also some displays may be a little bit harder to do if you have skinny fingers but that's all for the pros and cons what percent do i give this Stitch by Tannis is a really powerful close-up trick, but it's not for absolutely everyone. But it is super fooling. I'm giving it a 96%. I really hope you all enjoyed this review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.